Hi guys, it's uh, Hayley Wilson from Powering Social Media here again. Um, just wanted to show you in this video how to register and set up a Skype account and just a, a quick lesson on how to use it. So all you need to do is log in to skype.com. So you'll see up the, here, up the top here, uh, skype.com. Don't worry about these other little bits and pieces, it'll divert to that page anyway. But if you just type in skype.com, it will load into the home page here. Once you're on the home page, all you need to do is click on up the top here where it says join Skype. So click on there. Sweet. Now that loads us into the area where you're filling in details and uh, it's literally, um, it's pretty straightforward. So all you need to do is just fill in your details as the uh, boxes tell you to here. Uh, we'll just scroll down. So you've got your, you know, your name uh, at the top there, email address. Uh, scrolling down you've got date of birth, all these other details that you need to fill in as well, the country you're in and so on and so forth. And just scrolling down, um, uh, drop down box, how do you intend to use Skype? Um, most people I'd just say mostly personal conversations and that's probably the easiest way for you. Um, Skype name, and that could be your name, so it could be like Hayley Wilson or it could be um, your, your business name maybe, like powering social media. Um, just depends on what sort of Skype name you want. Uh, and then all you need to do is just, you know, create a password for it. And then scroll down and then you've got to fill out the capture down the bottom here. And uh, type that in and then literally click on the big I agree continue. And then you would have registered yourself a um, Skype ID, a Skype address. So, so to download Skype all you need to do is just head back up the top. And then if you uh, look across the top here, computer it's got other uh, you got Windows um, Mac all the rest of it so just depending on what computer you've got so we'll click on Windows okay and then um, you'll see here Skype free or Skype premium um, you know most people all you're gonna ever need is the is the free version so I'll scroll this up and then all you need to do is down click on download Skype and it'll download it to your computer um, and again just follow the instructions to run it and um, and then it'll load on your computer. Okay, so once it's loaded on your computer, we'll shoot on over to, to Skype to show you how to log into it and just how to use it briefly or quickly. And um, yeah, so let's head, head on over there now. Okay, so once, you, once you've loaded Skype, it'll bring you up into this sort of login window where you enter your, in your Skype name. So I've just got Suzanne and Hayley um, password. We'll type that in now. Okay, and then just sign me in. Okay, that normally makes a funny noise when you log in, and then then you're logged in. So um, that's that's uh, basically how you use or how you log into Skype, should I say? Now the easiest way to use it, you can um, you can go and find yourself if you know people's Skype IDs or their email addresses of what they use um, with their Skype. Is you just go up to the top here, go click on contacts, and then go add contact. Okay, and then you're just going to search for people uh, via their email or their Skype name. So if you know their Skype name, just type it in, and then it will literally search for it down here. Okay, and once once you've found it, just click on it, make sure you've got the right person, and then just add. And that's how you add your uh, friends to Skype. Um, and going back now to, to chat, um, what you'll notice here is the, the two green ticks. So when you see people with a green tick, then you know they're online and that you can call them. So you'll see here that the the green call button pops up. Now, um, if we weren't online, then what would happen is that would be faded out, so you wouldn't be able to call. So um, that's how cool that is. And then over here, this is just to show you the different, uh, literally the different uh, ticks. So you've got, um, so we've got uh, green online, which is showing at the moment. We've got away, so I can click that if I want to show that I'm away, as it, you can see at the top here. Or if I want to be invisible, I can be invisible. Um, and again, online, do not disturb, offline, um, and set up call forwarding as well if you want to do that. So there's lots you can do with Skype. I'd say just get in and have a play and, um, and yeah, get used to it. That's the main thing. Um, one other cool little groovy little trick I wanted to show you just before I go is, um, say, say when you're talking to people and you want to, uh, for them to be able to see what you're seeing on your computer screen, when you call them and you, you click the call button and you're online chatting away, um, you can choose to, to video call or not to video call. Um, now, you can also choose to share your screen. So the easiest way to do that is you, you click on the call button up the top and then you're going to uh, go down to share your screen 
and then share full screen and that will actually you'll be sharing your computer screen with whoever it is you're chatting to um, it's a great way to show people um, demos or what to do or if you're having trouble with something it's a great way to show you know show someone um, you know what sort of trouble you're having so that they can help you out uh, just a really cool little trick um, one other little cool trick to to teach you as well is to um, you know with this message box uh, say with this message box down the bottom here um, see how you see I can type a message in here so I'll just go blah blah okay so we've got the message down the bottom here blah blah now um, I can send that and it's going to go to whoever I'm chatting to at the time um, and that's that's one message so you can instant message people as well but the the cool thing about this little message block box is I'm just gonna go take that out now the cool thing about this message box and if I want say you know Mary Sue or whoever it is I'm chatting to to receive a file that I've got on my computer rather than emailing it um, to them if it's a two if it's too big or if it's a video file or something like that I can drag and drop the file into this message box and they will get it from their end but the key thing to remember is that you both need to have the green tick on so your friend needs to be online and so do you so um, to be able to pick up those files that you drag and drop so you can drag and drop you know all sorts of files from video files to word files to to anything really um, and then they'll save it at the, on, on their end and they'll, they'll get the file so Skype is such a fantastic tool uh, again just have a play with it it's awesome awesome fun okay so to drag and drop a file I've just got to locate it wherever it is in my documents um, click on uh, left click and hold on the photo and then I'm going to literally drag it across and then you'll get that you'll see the little square there and dump it in there um, and of course it's not going in there because I'm not actually dumping it into this that's not a not an actual person it's just a uh, a, a demo or a default sort of person def, uh, default setting so so that's all you need to do is just left click on the image drag it and literally drop it once you're hovering over that text message box and then let your finger off the left click um, and that's how you do it so yeah have fun um, hope that's helped and uh, enjoy Skype because it really is just heaps and heaps of fun anyway take care till the next video um, that's me for today take care bye